name is Fizz. How's everyone doing today? Hopefully you enjoyed that intro. I had a lot of fun making it. We are looking at the cinema crops. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, hopefully that's how you pronounce it. In this video, we're going to be showcasing everything you need to know about it, including taming, locations, and how useful it's going to be. So sit back, relax, enjoy, and let's get started. All right, so before we head out, let's grab its favorite food, which is chitin or chitin or however you want to say it. We'll just call it chitin. Uh, that's its favorite food. It doesn't actually have a kibble or anything, so that's pretty good. It's pretty easy food to get. Now, these guys' location is uh, pretty much the jungle, and uh, I... Psh there's not really much to really tell you. They're literally everywhere in the jungle, but I can give you where the jungle temple is. The GPS cords are right now on the screen, and also the CC command will be in the description out below if you want to teleport there. That's kind of a basic area that you could probably see them in because it's kind of uh, mostly cleared out. But yeah, they're all it's every they're all over the place in the jungle. They're very common. All right, taming it is actually pretty simple compared to the other two creatures from the Lost Isles. Uh, this guy is literally just a passive tame with chin that's it it's super simple super easy but there is a catch you cannot trap it i did try trapping it with tents and stuff and wildcard has caught on to our easy games of taming so you need to be aware of your surroundings and also make sure you use the new tracking thing in your inventory to track where it's going because that way you can actually follow where it's flying to now the rest of the taming is pretty simple so it's going to fly around for a little bit and once it has hearts flying around its uh, head and so, uh, it's going to be ready for the next feed. So you need to make sure you're near the creature so it can land near you and then walk up to you and then you'll be able to pass and feed it again. So that's it. You just keep repeating that process until it's fully tamed. Oh yeah, there's one more thing which goes into its abilities. It does not like you wearing uh, chitin armor. So do not wear any because it will attack you and kill you and eat your armor now speaking of ability this guy has got some nifty new tricks on up his sleeve so for one he is a parachute a glider and a scare mechanic very interesting let's go over the uh, parachute real quick now just tapping the space bar on pc sorry consoles i have no idea what it is uh you can actually uh parachute and glide a little bit with uh that with a slow fall it's very nice when you're jumping off buildings or if you need to get up high and build something real quick it is going to be super useful to be able to get around for more of a primitive style instead of using a tech suit this is by far amazing ability absolutely fantastic ability Alrighty, and now it's glider. So the glider is pretty simple and easy to use. All you need to do is just jump off a cliff and hit C and bada bing, bada boom. You are now gliding. You can hold shift to go faster and stuff. It's just like the operation glider, but better to be honest, because now you don't have to actually wear a glider on your shirt and you don't have to take durability. You do, however, need to be aware of its stamina. So its stamina is how far you can glide too and this is also with the parachute as well so be aware probably gonna want to put some points into it not too many though because it doesn't really need that much but just be aware of that because you're definitely gonna need a lot of stamina depending on where you're gliding now to my favorite ability is the scare mechanic so the scaring is pretty damn cool this thing can scare away icky thornesses pegos literally any little kind of critter that's super annoying to you uh it's max kind of size i would say is hyenodons it does not scare wolves i already tested that now holding r you can access the screen menu if he's on your back you can access the inventory you can set it to auto scream or you can set it to scream itself uh you can actually activate the screen with clapping so that's pretty cool so if you don't want to go hold r to change the mode and yeah you could just just clap and scare things automatically or you could just leave it auto it's up to you personally i think keeping it auto for most of the time is going to be really handy but then probably when you're like not actually using the guy you can just turn it off but it, it this guy is going to be super useful to keep on your back well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is it for this little guy. I, to be honest, I think this guy is pretty cool. I was a little skeptical before, but 
now that I've played around with him, he's actually really good. A uh, little bit of an announcement. We do have our season opening the 17th of December at 5 p.m. Eastern. That is right. Link in the description down below in the Discord. Come and join and hang out. It's going to be fantastic. Cannot, cannot wait to start season 13. And also, we might have a giveaway on my Discord. Oh, you might want to join there and enter the giveaway. But yes, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next one.